Gabby World is a Dungeons and Dragons styled blockchain game built on large language models with an on chain for mode gameplay. The game is essentially a competition between user generated content. A user can either play a creator role, generating stories for others to challenge, or play an explorer role, conquering adventures created by others. The rules are simple yet FOMO. In a world map, each piece of land can host an adventure. As a creator, you can pay a price to add a chapter to an adventure. The more chapters there already are, the higher the price to add a new chapter. All the creation revenue will be added to a prize pool. As an explorer, you can pay a fixed ticket price to challenge an adventure. Such ticket revenue goes into the prize pool too. A big chunk of the prize pool is the grand prize, which will reward the first explorer to pass all chapters. However, there is a countdown capped at 24 hours, with each exploration attempt adding 10 minutes. If the countdown hits zero, all creators will split the grand prize. Other than the grand prize, some part of the ticket revenue will be distributed to creators as dividends, and there is also explore to earn rewards for explorers funded by some of the creation revenue. Now let's generate a chapter as a creator. The world consists of different regions, and Lutopia is the one with the classic D&D theme. The heat map indicates the prize pool size, and let's pick a land that looks popular. Now this land already contains 3 chapters, with a total 600 tokens in the prize pool. Chapter 1 is an avalanche, Chapter 2, a gate guarded by a giant angel, and Chapter 3 seems like a media strike. Cost to add a chapter is 400 tokens, quite expensive. Now there are a few things you can describe in a chapter. Let's say we want to create a stealing a dragon egg sort of challenge, and we can say scenario, we can put Steve Cliffs, event, dragon nest, NPC, let's say evil dragon spitting fire, and lastly challenge, steal a dragon egg. Let's see how it goes. Nice. Now AI has generated both text and image descriptions of the elements we described. There are even stats generated for the NPC which we can play with. These are classic D&D attributes and each NPC has 10 points to allocate. I think AI has done a great job allocating it, so I'll just leave it as is. Now we have successfully added chapter 4 into the adventure. Before attempting an adventure, let's set up our AI character Gabby. The first thing to highlight is that we allow users to import their NFT metadata to equip Gabby. For example, you have a loot NFT which contains 8 gears, and if you can select divine rope and more, and then be recognized by AI and equipped as a weapon and armor on Gabby. Now you can allocate points to your equipment together with skills and abilities. Again, we've adopted and simplified the classic D&D stat system, and it's important to be strategic about allocating the 10 points because they will affect how you may react in different situations. The good news is that you can reset them before each adventure, but with a cost. Now let's head back to our adventure. Once you start exploring, the story progresses like a typical mod game. AI will play the dungeon master role and do the storytelling, and you will have to decide on your actions whenever confronting a challenge. Now in chapter 1, facing an avalanche, I have options to spring for safety with my dexterity, find a natural shelter with my wisdom, or create a makeshift barrier with my strength. DC means difficulty class, the lower the number, the easier to overcome, so it will be a no-brainer to pick action 3. I will now have to roll a 20 sided die for my strength check. This is generated as an on-chain random number, fully transparent. I rolled an 8, plus my strength value of 3 as a modifier, equals 11, which is right above the DC, so I've passed chapter 1, nice. Continuing to chapter 2. Now the story is about a holy palace guarded by a guardian angel, it's got an NPC that looks really cool. And the challenge is to gain access into the palace. Options I have, use diplomacy which will test my charisma against the NPC, offer a gift which relies on wisdom, or fight and defeat the NPC which will enter into combat mode. Uh, I'm not very happy with any of these, and I would love to write down my own action, use stealth to sneak in. Okay, air has digested my custom action, and now we will have to compete on dexterity. I rolled a 10 plus my original 3 modifier equals 13. Let's hope he doesn't roll anything above the- oh no. He's done a 14, so I failed this chapter. Unfortunately my journey will have to stop here, and if I would like to challenge this adventure again, I will have to start over all the way from chapter 1. But the journey will be produced into a mini comic book, which you can collect as an NFT and share to the social media. And of course, You've earned a sort of return from the prize pool.